Welcome in everyone. Today's video we are going to go over the flow alert section and how I like to use that to create watch lists and come up with trade ideas. So kind of going to go over what I look for for like good flow alerts versus bad flow alerts. So let's get started here. So this is just your main page on unusualwhales.com. So to find the flow alerts here, so you come up here, here's your flow alerts. So you're wondering, and I was obviously in here, so this is kind of a little set up already, but I'll kind of go over that too. But you're probably wondering what are flow alerts. So if I got rid of this, it's going to show everything. So this is what anybody new would see. You're going to see a bunch of these alerts. So, and you're probably thinking, what are repeated hits? Repeated hits, descending fill, ascending fill, volume over OI. So right up here is your rule. So again, this is just kind of going over everything. It'll tell you the descriptions of them. And for those that like to kind of see how they're shown up in the in unusual whales, little deeper stuff here. You don't really need that. Just kind of the basic explanations. So, so again, back to the alerts here. So when I start out, I will always, well, let's start out with my filter. So, and again, this, these are my filters. You can adjust how you'd like. I try not to keep on alerts for ETFs or the ADRs. So I will always just kind of have stocks on here and I do not do bid side and ask side. So bid side, there's multiple reasons why I don't, I'm not going to dig into that into this video, but, um, can do that in another video, but otherwise, yeah. So I'll have ask side and then I'll have calls and puts and premium is always important because if you don't have any premium, everything will show. So anything that's a flow alert and you don't need to see a lot of the smaller ones just because they're not as I'd say eye opening as or unusual as some of the bigger ones. So, so yeah, I like to, and I mean, again, depending on how you want to trade too. I mean, I do the spot at three. I don't care about these big trades like this. I tend to stay away from stuff like that. And a lot of this is in the deeper in the money too. So, but again, my filters, so you can adjust how you want, but and I like to do 60 days expiration. Just a couple of reasons. I mean, I if you leave this open, you're going to get, I mean, 264 days away. I don't care about what's happening two years from now. Or it's not even one year, but just, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, so when you have your, so I kind of like the shorter to midterm. So, I mean, two months, that's not super far away. And for those who like swing trades, medium term ones, short term, it's a good filter to have just because you're kind of getting that month, two month out kind of estimate of where the whales are thinking it's going. So that's kind of what I have. And I just kind of keep the sweeps and all this stuff on just so I can kind of see everything. Doesn't mean I'm using it, but I mean, you can see what others are doing too, because you don't want to get the filters so restricted down where you miss everything. So so what I like to do now from this point is I have all of, let me just do today. It's a weekend, so it's a little different, but it's going to pull in all the flow alerts from today. So here's what you had. So, I mean, first one came in at 831. So, I mean, you have a decent size list to work with and look through. So I, um, I actually went ahead and already pulled some out, but I'll show you everybody kind of what I'm doing just to kind of help make the video go a little faster but like this stuff I'm always looking for I like to see a hundred percent on one side and you can see that and right now when this video is being made it's earnings so there's a lot of earnings flowing here too as well so keep that in mind but I'm looking for like the clean flow like this I, I like the hundred percent 88 is I, I'd say anything 80% and above is kind of what I like, but try to lean towards the 100%er. So, and a great reason why, though, is let me find, let me find, 
we'll do this one. I mean, 81%. So you look at the flow. I mean, you've got bid side in there along with ask side. I mean, I'd say this obviously still leans more bearish with the premium, but you're not getting that 100% clean flow. And if you look at that too, I mean, I when you look at the candles, I'll show everybody next on what a good one looks like. But I mean, you want to see, I like seeing the solid green like that. I don't like mixed flow. I, if the flow's not 100% or I have to sit and guess on the next one. So and then you see a lot of this no side mid fill stuff. So like that's garbage. So now what I like to do. So like this one, I would be pulling out love, Amazon, and the next part is a very important part too, because now you see another Amazon one down here. So we'll get to that here next. So what I did is I pulled some out here already. So I'm going to show everybody why these are bad flow ones. I will pick a couple from each one. So we'll start with Intel here. So where am I? So after I pull in, because I'll pull in, I mean, if you're going to pull in 100, the 100% 100 ones, you're only going to probably pull in like 10 or 12 a day maybe. But the next thing I like to do is I will always go to the last seven days. So we we're looking at Intel as one of them. So Intel and they just and another thing you can do. What I like to do is I keep a chart open and I do like the unusual, unusual whales charting system. But I have this open because I want to check and show some other stuff here as well. So earnings we just had earnings on intel so keep that in mind with some of this flow so this is going to pull on everything so here's the 20 from the 27th and you can see ask side mixed ask side mixed and a bullish one and then a no side one like this is something i would not want to trade i can't get a clear signal from this that would be a pass for me so that's a example of a bad one and Let's do a X here. So you look at a X here. So the 27th was Friday. So I'm like looking at this one. Also, I always want to pay attention to the volume and open interest too. Like if I pull up a X's options chain and stuff, it's very, there's not a lot there. And I believe AX was one that, yeah, there are just had earnings again as well too. So, and this came in on the earnings day. So another one that I'd kind of avoid here too, just because lower open interest, all that. And you can, I, I won't dig into it deep in this video, but can always, I mean, you click on this, just a quick look at it. I mean, this is not... A really nice open interest chain or anything. So, I mean, something like that I ignore. So, now some other ones here. So, like, these are decent flow, but something I would not want to trade. So, a good example here. Let's do, let's start with DD. I'm not going to do them all. Just want to give a couple examples. So, DD here then. So, okay, cool. Two things coming in on the 27th. I don't have anything else for the last week. I always, and especially right now with earnings season going on, want to see if there's earnings coming. Earnings in three days. So something I would skip from this. Earnings flow, earnings. There's a whole nother backstory behind why you do not want to play them. But this could just be somebody hedging something too. We don't know. And also... It's a lower chain traded, but this is a clean entry on flow. Pretty much. This is what I like to see. Nothing else coming in and just put premium here. So, but again, another one, not a lot of open interest on this one. So one that I would skip with earnings flow and let's pick one more from let's do Let's do ABBV. So this one looks like we just have one thing coming in. Again, 
not bad open interest on the contracts, but where are we? Bad earnings are coming up. We just had earnings today, so or well Friday when the flow came in. So that's a intre- I I kind of try to stay away from earnings like the day after. Just I like to see how the market's gonna handle whatever came in for earnings that day. So let's do another one because that wasn't too good of one. We will do TPX. So then looking at TPX here. So okay, we have not. 100%, so something I pulled in, obviously, from the beginning. Looking here, okay, well, this is, um, we came in. What time did that flow alert come in? So, 9.49, and I'm central time, so this would be the entry right here. So it looks like we got some more, but, again, and you can, yeah, I'm not going to do that there. Can Let me just pull it up here, so TPX. So TPX, and you just, I mean, you look at these options chains and it's nothing good in those. So that's kind of what it, so this flow would be good, but there's just not liquidity on that chain. So, and now I got a couple good ones here. So we're going to look at love and BSX. So love and then again these are just the flow alerts too so this isn't matching up with the charts or anything i that's one reason why i kind of like to actually let me go back to intel here and show everybody why so let's say um so it's the 27th this came in let's just um say you took this 39 call that came in hey because these are uh, uh, the flow alerts, they populate as they come in. So this is all up to date. It's all coming in right at the same, right when um, the alert hits. So let's say, hey, alert comes in at 925. You get the call. You see the 100%. Well, look at the rest of the day. Bearish, bearish, mixed, mixed. This is why I like to wait till the end of the day just so i can kind of see the full sentiment that came in that day just that's kind of a little tip that verse because i know some people will like to um especially in our discord they'll um like to hey let's take some flow alerts as they come in you can do that but then if like this guy if you got in here and then oh it's just bearish bearish the rest of the day and maybe this whale misread something and the sentiment's actually bearish now, so kind of why I like to wait till the end of the day. But let's get back to love here. So here's love. And so you got your 100%. 73%, I kept this on just because, I mean, close alerts, same day as expiration, leans bearish. And even if you click in here, I mean, you can see the it's bearish and if I really wanted to, I could visualize it on the option profit calculator, which it's going to, you know, expecting it to go down. And obviously you can adjust it how you want there. But we'll go back to the flow alerts. So flow alerts, I mean, that's pretty bearish there. And again, probably not going to see, yeah, not too much. I mean, compared to the bearish side. And then... What I'd like to do then, pop over to the chart, and then, oh, we just had earnings, and then good. Then you can chart it out. That way you can kind of maybe dig into the earnings if you want. And again, these are 47 days of expiration, so something I wouldn't just hop in. I'd look for better entries, all that. So, But looking at the actual contracts here, so you can see they... Both came in right before close. And we had some more ask side volume a little bit earlier. But again, this is what I'd consider clean flow where you're seeing a high, high ask side volume there. And again, you can always check the volume and open interest in the morning. It always updates down here, which is really nice. 
So the other good one was Boston Scientific. So again, just have the one alert. They did just have earnings as well. And they beat earnings. So this will is... So this came in on the 27th. So Friday and earnings. Where was I? Let's... So it came in 9.30 against Central Time. So let me bump this down. And this is another thing I like to do as well. We'll just do the five-minute chart. So it came in 9.30 my time. So we are 9.30. So, I mean, yeah, this oil kind of caught that at the bottom there a little bit. But the nice thing is we can see that the whale's still in. Because here's your 9.30. No, not seeing any bid side flow, so they're not really closing their orders at all. You can look at the volume here. So 1,200 that size there, and it looks like on the day, 1,900. So this is something I would check the volume on a little bit in the morning just to kind of see how much is carrying over because there's, there's a little more there, but it's looking like it's call side volume or yep call side premium so that um that's one thing you can check too so otherwise that is um kind of just a little simple easy way to make a watch list and obviously you can set this up i mean i was just kind of pulling this in for the video so like out of that i mean we had three six nine like 15 ish and I pulled two good ones out of that that I liked. So again, as you filter your um how you want them, and again, all filters are here. And you can select different rules if you want to hide them and see certain ones. So but I mean very easy to set up, very easy to use, and the best thing is, I mean, just always remember to if you're um doing this to um use i mean these whales could be hedging so again that's another reason why i kind of like to wait towards the end of the day and also if you are interested in trying unusual whales feel free um i will drop a referral link in below which will save anybody five percent off their subscription otherwise that is all i have for today have a great weekend everyone